Netflix's The Sea Beast is definitely making waves with its swashbuckling high seas tale. But one can't help but think, uh, this movie seems a lot like Disney's Moana. Let's take a look and see all the ways The Sea Beast is barking up Moana's sea. Uh, we mean tree. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Number one, a strong female lead. Both Moana and The Sea Beast have precocious kids wanting adventure at sea. And how totally refreshing is it to see young girls getting adventure tales of their own? My name's Maisie. Maisie Brumble. I am Moana of Motunu. Not to mention both Moana and Maisie, hello, M names to boot, know their way around a ship. Here's to many more girls getting leads, showing the youth that anything is possible, even killing a mythical sea monster in the past. <laughs> Number two, all the colors of the sea. Bright colors may be a calling card of most animated features. However, Moana and the Sea Beast live in the bright blue palette that only a movie set in the sun-filled ocean can provide. Color can also tell a story as well. Moana choosing to show the sea as a challenging but fun adventure when it's sunny out and then taking a turn with a red palette to show the danger and weariness one must deal with when running away from home. And Kablamo, the Sea Beast lives this color story as well. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, no? Yeah. <gasps> Sorry, I thought you were a monster. Number three, a director in common. Moana and the Sea Beast director setting out for adventure on his own, but maybe not via the sea. Fun fact, the director of the Sea Beast happens to be the co-director of Moana, Chris Williams. Did not see that coming. Hot off his success of Big Hero 6, where he won an Oscar no less, Williams was drafted to co-direct Moana, leading him to another success with Disney. Now branching off on his own, Chris has turned to Netflix to bring his Sea Beast dreams into reality. The Sea Beast being Chris's first solo work is pretty impressive. We love a director that upgrades from dinghy to full out ship. Get it, Chris. Number four, setting a movie at sea. Like JFK said, we are tied to the ocean, and when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch, we are going back from whence we came. And this may seem like an obvious one, but both movies take place on boats on the sea. The sea being an ideal metaphor for people fighting after what they want. If one just floats on the sea, their direction will go nowhere, but taking the direction into their own hands gets them to the treasure they were always searching for. Whether that treasure is a sea beast or family acceptance. So next time you're at sea, just feel that metaphor wash all over you. Number five, rope challenge. Working up against the ropes. Animation may seem like a complicated endeavor, but in reality, it's even more complicated than you could ever possibly imagine. Coming off co-directing Moana, Chris Williams was psyching himself out taking on another feature at sea. And according to Williams, one of the tougher parts to animate are literal ropes like the ones that hang off of ships. In Moana, since she was only in a canoe, there were a few ropes drawn and that was still a tough time. Cut to the sea beasts were there in needs of hundreds more. However daunting, the task was achieved and Moana and the sea beasts are visually stunning. And hey, when you're watching either, try not to take for granted that rope action. The world is wide, Jacob, and you don't know everything. Number six, the plot. Let's all settle in for a story. When it comes down to it, there aren't that many stories in the world, and the major similarity between Moana and the Sea Beast highlights just that. While Moana tells the tale of a girl leaving home on the sea to become the goddess inside of her, the Sea Beast tells a similar story of a young girl orphaned needing to leave home, escaping on a ship to discover the family roots that were always inside of her. Hey! Who's reading this story? Funnily enough, knowing that these two plots had similarities was inside of you all along as well. Number seven, the eyes have it. The wider the eyes, the bigger the brain, right? What may be one of the more obvious similarities between the Sea Beast and Moana are the eyes of the animated characters themselves. Both share the traditional large-eyed Disney model that most characters of cartoons past have alike. That being said, Moana and Maisie may be treading familiar territory with how similar their bright-eyed faces may look. The big eyes may represent wonderment and an intake of knowledge, or it just might make them look super cute. Number 8. God Among Men The gods must be crazy. 
or very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. What? No, no, no. Moana may be a story about a girl, but really it's a story about a god. Well, two gods when you include the lovable demigod Maui helping Moana on her way. While the Sea Beast has no god characters in the obvious sense, the Sea Beasts themselves are marveled, praised, and feared as though they are gods. Surely a nod to the godlike ties in its film predecessor, Moana. Number 9. Emotional Heartstrings I'm not crying, you're crying! The genre of the Sea Beast may be action-adventure, but don't get it twisted, this is a heartwarming tale about a young orphan finding herself and her chosen family. There may be high sea wild moments, that are when the movie is at its strongest, but you will be reaching for a hanky when the time comes. Once again, Moana shares a similar structure of pulling you in with the high-velocity fun, but keeping you hooked with the meaningful family drama. You did everything for them. Number 10. Animal Friends No animated adventure would be complete without an adorable animal sidekick. But he's so cute! Look at this face! <laughs> and boy does the sea beast deliver in this department. While Maisie searches for the ultimate sea monster, she nabs herself a tinier version of one with lost eyes and names it Blue. And surely fans cannot forget Moana's rooster that can make the roughest seas gentle with the hilarious Hey Hey. Hey Hey stole the show in more ways than one, but the biggest one being the silliest comic relief imaginable. And fun fact, Hey Hey was actually supposed to be, for lack of a kinder term, way smarter in the movie originally. Pitched as the watchdog for Moana as she sailed the seas alone, Hey Hey's more intelligent persona was actually based on co-director John Musker's personality. However, when the creative team was officially assembled, producer John Lasseter decided that they needed some village idiot energy, and the cute but dumb Hey Hey entered the scene. Number 11. Runaway Daughters We've got some rebels on our hands. While the similarities and references to Moana are adding up, the one that may be a story as old as time is the daughter that needs to leave the home to find herself. Both Moana and the Sea Beast excellently execute the daughter running away trope. Hello, the Little Mermaid? But both of these runaway girls may have needed to leave home to prove themselves. But kids, if you're listening, therapy works too. Number 12. Celebrity Voice Acting like most modern animated movies, the celebs are a major drawing point. Moana having The Rock as its standout superstar, voicing Maui only further cemented The Rock's blockbuster cred. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Okay, don't worry, it's a lot farther down than it looks. While Carl Urban is heading the Sea Beast, star of the critically acclaimed The Boys, the sky's the limit for his celeb potential post The Sea Beast. It's a monster and we're not keeping it. Remember what I told you. Number 13. A Long Story To make a long story long, while this may not be an exact reference to Moana, both Moana and the Sea Beast come in just under two hours, which is quite the running time for a kid flick. When you got a lot of story, you got a lot of story. Number 14. The Rock vs. Carl Urban both Moana and the Sea Beast have the lead characters portrayed by ultimate action stars. Moana showcasing a singing Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and the Sea Beast introducing the boy's tough guy Carl Urban to the animation world. It's enough to make your knees wobble. Tough guys with sweet teens may be the ultimate cartoon action pair up. Number 15. Teen Stars on the Rise Tween Angels, ripped right from Broadway, Zaris Angel Hator voicing Maisie Bramble is a tween star on the rise with roles in The Monarch and Matilda the Musical. But don't go sleeping on Auli'i Grafalio, the voice of Moana, who's a rising star in her own right, starring in the soon-to-be movie version of Spring Awakening. Hope you learned all there is to know about the Sea Beast's Moana-loving ways. Which reference caught your eye? For all your sea beast and animated needs, wants, and sea shanties, like, subscribe, and comment to all things The Things Animated.